Hello guys, it's Absory and in today's video I'm going to show you a new way to get a fully invisible body in GTA 5 Online. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos and also make sure to watch the whole entire video so you don't miss any of the important steps and shout out to the people on screen for commenting hashtag Absory on my last video and if you guys want a shout out in my next video and all you guys have to do is like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment hashtag Epsory. But now let's go straight into today's video. To begin with this glitch, this is a transfer glitch, so you will lose all of your saved outfit except for one. So make sure to keep one of your outfits that you don't want to lose. And once you have done that, you want to go ahead and press options and then go to swap character. Inside swap character, you need to create a female character in your second slot. Then go ahead and copy the rank of your male character and then you will load into an online session. But if you guys are tired of spending hours and hours grinding out all of these glitches then make sure to check out my sponsor Mitch Cactus. MitchCactus.com offers instant delivery modded accounts for Xbox, Playstation and PC that come with between 50 million and 1 billion dollars in cash as well as ARP level 250 and more. They also offers account boost, which means that you can have a ton of money on RP added to your own existing GTA 5 account. And these guys have over 5000 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reliable modders out there. The link to their website will be down in the description and make sure to use my code APSRI for 5% off for a limited time only. Once you spawn in an online session, you want to open up the map and see if you can see any clothing stores. If they don't appear, just find a new session and they will appear. And once you see any of the clothing stores, go ahead and make your way over to one of them. Once you are at the clothing store, you need to go ahead and remove every accessory on the outfit. And once you have done that, you can go ahead and buy the components for the first outfit. For the first component, you need to go over to accessories section, then go to gloves, and then buy the light woodland armor gloves number 32. Then go over to the shoes section, then go to high heel boots, and buy the number 24, the deluxe midnight combat. From here, go over to the pants section, then go to cargo pants, and buy number 38, the navy cargoes. Now you need to go over to the top section, then go to fitted suit jackets and buy number 8. From here back out once and then go to tactical jackets and buy number 79. And now you are done with the first outfit, so now go ahead and save this in your second slot. For the first component on the second outfit, you want to make your way over to the pants section, then go to sports pants and then buy number 1. From here you need to go over to the top section, then go to work jackets and buy number 38. And now just back out once, then go to tuck t-shirts and buy number 75, the blue digital t-shirt. And now you just need to equip the light woodland armor gloves once again and then go ahead and save this outfit in your third slot. And once you have got both of these outfits saved, you want to open up the interaction menu and then go ahead and take the easy way out. Once you spawn back, go ahead and press options and then go to creative mode. Once in creative mode, you need to go ahead and create a race, then go ahead and select tutorial, then press options, and then go to choose character. Inside choose character, you need to delete your second character, so your female character, and once you have done that, press circle or B to go to story mode. Once you are in store mode, simply go ahead and start up a new invite only session. When you are back in an online session, you need to go ahead and make way over to any ammunition store or clothing store on the map and then save the outfit you are wearing so you don't lose it. From here go over to the outfit section, 
then go to biker suits and buy the black biker suit, so this one right here. Now you need to have the bookmarked job called It's a G thing, I will have the link to the job down in the description, so go ahead and bookmark it, then restart GTA 5. Once you are back in online, press options, go to online, play job, bookmarked and then missions, and then start up It's a G thing. In the settings menu, make sure to set the clothing style to play your saved outfit, then go ahead and invite a friend or a random player to this job. And once someone has joined, go ahead and launch it. On the next screen, you need to go ahead and press right on the D-pad two times, and then you should have this invisible body, so from here, go ahead and ready up. And inside the mission, you should see that you have the fully invisible body. From here, we need to save it, and to do that, make your way over to any of your apartments. Once you are inside of your apartment, go down to your wardrobe and then save this outfit in any slot. Once you have saved this outfit, simply pull up your phone and quit the job. Once you are back in online, open up the interaction menu, select your saved outfit and then you will have this fully invisible body and it should be fully saved. But keep in mind that the legs is not fully permanent, it's only fully permanent in missions and death matches. But this is the only way to get the fully invisible body right now, so I just want to show you guys this. But that's all for today's video, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for daily GTA 5 glitches and other GTA videos. And don't forget to join my Discord server, the link is down in the description as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video, bye bye.